Well, there was an amazing campaign led, extraordinary campaign led by the parents of pupils that were concerned about the school funding cuts and the head teachers, which was unprecedented actually in the way that they've written to parents and said, you know, we can't afford to provide school books and to, to carry out the curriculum. So I think they led a tremendous campaign. The government have obviously took heed of that, but of course they've already um, cut school budgets by 2.8 billion. So those cuts are already happening now. These are cuts that were further planned in Right, but they're years. putting money in. It's a bit churlish to complain. And particularly, actually, you, you didn't like the free schools budget, did you? Well, I felt um, that some of the money that was spent, so if you look at the National Audit Office and you look at what the Public Accounts Committee have said about the money that was wasted on free schools that actually weren't even right. in the places so we required I I, them. I can't understand why you don't see this as just a good news day and, and say... Theresa May, Justin Greening, thank you very much. This is what we've been arguing for. Because unfortunately it's not new money and 2.8 billion is still missing from that. You know, the teachers that have wrote out to parents that have said we haven't got the money this year, they're not going to get any extra money yeah. this year. So come September, that money will still be gone from their budget. So those teaching assistants will still unfortunately right. not be in their jobs. Right. But it will. they are on course to be by 2022 to spending four billion extra on, on schools, aren't they? Well, they're saying, they said in the they're saying they're not yeah. going to, they're not going to cut budgets any right. further. We have to look at the detail. But of course, there's no new money. That's the important thing They've about taken this it out as well. They've hand. taken it out yeah. of one hand yeah. and put it into another. Yeah. And they haven't even been clear about where that money's coming from either, which is a real concern because, of course, we know that we need school places. We know that there's a crisis in terms of our class sizes are increasing. So if they're not creating free schools, which I prefer actually local authority schools, right. then they need to be putting the money in there. Now, what's interesting and people have sort of argued this against your party's policies is if schools are in need of so much money why would you have a policy of spending twice as much than you were planning to spend on schools on wealthier university graduates by by, by, by abolishing loans by abolishing fees mm. because that is was by far the most expensive thing in your in your manifesto and it was going to do nothing for schools well, nearly over 50% of the money that we raised in the manifesto went on our national education service. Now, I make no, you no, put six billion on schools, and, and including make, school meals. Six yeah, we billion. put six billion. The on The government's schools. putting four billion, but you put 11 billion. Yeah. On university students. Yes, we did because we didn't feel that they should carry that burden. Right. But we also put money into early years, which was important. You know, saving our sure start centres, which the government we've lost. Hang on, that was, was that part of the six billion on the six billion? No, it wasn't. That it was, was a half a billion on top of that, which was right. to protect sure start centres. We've lost 1,200 of yeah. them. They've been lost since the coalition came into power. And we've said, and I've been quite clear, that if we had an extra pound, it should go into early years. So we propped it up there. Mm. But we know we've but got I think the early prices. years stuff, the but early just, years just, just can to, help just the Just to schools. come back to the point the, on the, the tuition fees, we've got a crisis in our country at the moment of skilled workers. We're coming out of Europe, and we know we need those skilled workers. And if we don't start investing in young people and giving them those opportunities and saddling them with that debt, it's not the way to do it. We've got to start do, tackling that crisis can that I we face. You, broadly speaking, accept the analysis of the Office for Budget Responsibility, which last week gave a, a warning on fiscal risks, basically. And it came out with some interesting lines. You know, in many recent fiscal events, giveaways today have been financed by the promise of takeaways tomorrow. The risk is that the tomorrow never comes. New unfunded giveaways would take the government further away from its medium-term fiscal targets. Do you basically accept that analysis or not? Well, our manifesto was funded and we talked about investment in, in our future and in our regions, the regional banking structure, about skills that our regions require. Businesses tell me, when I go around to businesses, they say to me, Angela, we don't have the right. skilled workforce that we require. And that's why they go to Europe and other places so for So one them. thing in your manifesto, one thing in the election that was not costed was the promise to students who have already graduated and paid £9,000 fees, debt, retrospectively, yeah. to write off or to do something about their debt. That's right. Presumably that has gone then. I mean, well, has... No, it was an aspiration that Jeremy said that he would want to look at our leader, but it was right. never in the manifesto. Right. So, but, you, but don't bank on that happening if you're one of those people and Labour wins said Well, no, it's not a case time. of banking on it. Let's be clear, yeah. that 100 billion of debt is what this government has saddled the current students yeah. with. What we said but you is won't if we do were in government, if we were in government, we would abolish tuition fees and we would look at that as an aspiration. We've not made any promises on the 100 billion of debt that this government has created on the students of today. We said if we get into power, we would abolish them from that day forth and we would look at what we could do, but we wouldn't make uncosted promises. Angela Rayner, thanks very much. Thank thanks you. Thanks ever so much. Thanks.